Okay, this is a quick video to show you how to change the differential oil on a 94 Honda 304 tracks. There were a bunch of videos out there that were trying to do too much at once, and I'm just going to show you quickly how to change this gear oil. There's a 10 millimeter bolt in the side of this. You don't even have to remove the skid plate that's over that differential. I'm going to go ahead and pull that bolt out. I've got my drip pan already below it. And these don't hold a lot of oil. So now that we've got that 10 millimeter bolt out, go ahead and get that to release. It is a little cold. It is filling up the uh, drip tray here with some oil before it'll go down into that pan. Now you can see it's starting to flow there. I'm going to go ahead and take this 17 millimeter and remove the fill plug. Get it to flow a little bit quicker. And it is gear oil, so it will just be slow. Now, while we're waiting for that to drain, I want to tell you the kind of oil to use. A lot of people will go buy regular gear oil, and I'm going to use this Bell Ray Gear Saver, and it says it's transmission oil. And that's because you want to use a hypoid oil. And this is 80 weight gear oil, but it is hypoid. And they want to use that inside of any of these differentials. It's what Honda recommends. And if you look at any of your ATV specifications, most of your differentials are asking for a hypoid oil. So one mistake people make is they'll run down to their local auto parts store and grab just some regular old gear oil, some, you know, $6 a quart, whatever gear oil and throw in there. And it is not recommended. In fact, they say it can uh, damage the way your limited slip and that works inside of your differential or just the, the, the gears itself. So before I put that plug in, I'm actually going to take a little bit of this oil because it doesn't hold much and put it in here and just get a little bit of a flush out of there see if we can't push some of that old oil out of there i can see that red oil starting to push through there now so it should be nice and clean now i'm going to fish that bolt out of there fast To grab a pick to do that. You can sure smell that gear oil in there. Okay, got the bolt out, and you're going to have a hard time seeing it. I'll show you the video here in a second. The differential says right on it to use hypoid gear oil. Again, I can't stress enough how many times I've seen videos or talked to people that just go ahead and grab some gear oil that they've got 
kicking around and throw some 80 weight in there. Go ahead and get that bolt in there. nice and snug don't over tighten it I do have a torque wrench that I'm going to run this on later but I have to look at the specification for what it recommends it's not too tight though I've seen people break those off many a time and this you just fill up till it's flowing out of the differential and it's not a lot of oil in fact there it is it was maybe two and a half, three ounces. The, uh, I didn't bother to measure it because you just fill it up until it's overflowing. And you can see inside this video here, there it is coming out of there. And you can see that writing on the side that's saying to use high point gear oil. So we'll go ahead and throw that plug in there now. Tighten it up quick. And you're done. I'll take a little bit of carb cleaner and spray down in there just to clean out that differential cover, that skid plate, just so it doesn't drip on my driveway. Just a little tip if you haven't done that before. I hate removing those bolts where they've oftentimes got a little rusty or maybe it's bent or whatever. So I try to uh, go out of my way to just do what I did and use that pick to get that bolt out if it drops down in there or a screwdriver or whatever you need to. But uh, real uh, good idea to change those and it doesn't hold that much oil so you're not really out much to do it.